All right, so we are back at it. So I was fretting about the seal for this, and I found this on the old one. It was covered in crap. They still got some garbage on it, but uh, so yeah, now I got a seal. I don't have to worry about like air coming in from weird places and engine fumes and all that other crap. So we're gonna go ahead and slap this back on. I have the di new distribution block. This is the aluminum distribution block. Um, this is the new pigtail for this light here. And once I get that in, all my light to work. I got a brand new set of flange nut wrenches, which is awesome because I need to get that uh, old distribution block up. Now this is, uh, you have to pay attention when you're getting rolled stuff. It has to say specifically in the description, you know, for front disc, rear drum. That's very important for these. So there we go, we got that. Um, but yeah, so that's where we're at. Uh, I'll give you an update after I get everything in and see how the, the brake bleeding goes. Again, I'm probably gonna go get some, uh, some vacuum hose plugs because I wanna put an actual plug on that uh, and stuff. Um, but yeah. Uh, that's where we're at the moment. We'll uh, get back at you when uh, we got all that stuff on and uh, give you an update. Oh, and I have some actual, like, like C clamps that will, so I'm going to end up replacing these, put new hoses on, and we'll bring them over here. We'll get rid of this old bracket and put a couple nice clamps on this. So, eventually, I have the clamps. So... That's all that matters, and that's fine for right now, for, for testing and whatnot, keeping it from getting kinked up on this side so that the, the water can flow more appropriately. Um, yeah, this is, this one's hard to get out of here. Here we go. Check the radiator fluid. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. No oil in it. It's looking good. Okay. That up. Here, let's see here. That's the lanyard on the camera. Sorry about that. And I'm starting to play with stuff here, I guess. Oh, there we go. Cool. So, now we're going to work on getting that out. I got a tarp so I don't get soaked. And we're going to go get that, uh, distribution block out there. I had to unplug this. This is the the the, the electrical that signals when the, when the brakes something happens. You have a blowout one of the lines. It'll go brakes and it's supposed I guess it's supposed to go on when you have the parking brake on too, but I haven't figured out why that doesn't do that yet. I still have to go through the gauges, see if the gauges actually work or if it's the um the, the oil pressure sensor or whatever else. The only two gauges that somewhat work are the gas gauge and the uh and, and the, uh, the freaking, um, the, 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 uh, I'm stuck again, the, the, uh, mile per hour gauge, so, we'll, we'll, we'll find that out, I think this is our, uh, speedometer cable for, for, our, for, for a mile per hour gauge, um, I am gonna be redoing the gauges in this, like, the, all of them, and I'm going to put an uh, RPM gauge in and put in the smaller uh, fuel gauge unit in. So we'll, we'll, we'll do that just to update it. Because I like to know what the RPMs are. Because these, these uh, 292 blocks, they don't RPM out in their stock refrigerator. I think they got like a, a top 3400 or 3500 RPM rating. If we can get a better RPM rating out of these where they're happy at a higher RPM, you know, you get a little bit better performance out of them when you're driving around. Um, I know some of you guys think it's like, oh, you could stick a V8 in there. These actually make the same amount of ha horsepower as a stock 350. These are rated at 145, 155 horse, same as the 350 block. The, the, I think the 350 block and this block, the, the 350 block RPM'd out better than this block. It was a better highway engine. Um, but this one got just a tad bit more fuel efficiency, not by much, 
but it did get a little bit more fuel efficiency, and I think it either made the same amount of torque or it made more. I don't know, I'll have to do some more research on that, so don't quote me on it. But, yeah, because it does have a longer stroke in this 292 block. All right, cool. So we'll uh, bring you back after I get all that done. All right, we are back. So I got the new, well, not the new, but I got the, uh, you probably can't see that, but there's a brake boot back there, which is good. Uh, brand new master cylinder, or not master cylinder, uh, distribution block. So that's a new distribution block. That's an aluminum block. Fits perfect. It's awesome. Uh, got everything hooked back up. I'm charging the battery. That battery came with a truck. So, yeah, I think I'm going to see what the actual battery is for that. I don't think that's the battery it's supposed to be in. I think the battery is supposed to be in. It's a little bigger. Um, it just doesn't have enough just doesn't have enough juice right now. That was how I kept myself from getting soaked. So it just doesn't have enough juice right now to start. So I got the Fusion Charging Chevy. How do you like that? Got most of my tools picked up. Now I'm going to have to bleed the brakes on this. And try bleeding them again. Everything took back up. Like, 90% of the brake system on this is now new. So, if that doesn't do it, I, I'm going to replace the lines. And if the lines don't do it, then I don't, I, then I don't know. I, I really don't know then. I don't know what's going on because everything's new. New brake booster, new master cylinder. New pads and calipers. New rear master cylinder. New rear shoes. Right? Two of the lines are under, uh, going between the small distribution block for the rear. Those are new. So, we'll see. Now, I did have to heat up the distribution block, the old one, to, to, to just to help break it loose. I had to actually uh, knock on a 9mm wrench onto the 3 8 fitting just to break it loose because the, the 3 8 even the, the flare nut 3 8 uh, wrench is not doing it, which I don't really understand, but that that's that. Um, But we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll chime you in if I if the brakes uh, if the brakes bleed and I can actually go for a test drive with this, I'll, I'll, I'll do another video. But this is the end of this video right now. So uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's a little cool out here, but it's not too bad. Um, it, it had to been at least in the 40s today, so a cold 40s. But here we go. All right, we'll check you later.